today we're going to be breaking down this brand new Autumn How You Bad music video. This music video is so fire, the director and editor will be linked below, but we're going to get started and break this down here. So I have a bunch of clips opened up in the timeline here, and honestly, it seems like a lot of editing, but it's, it's honestly pretty simple, the effects they do in it. So starting off at the very beginning, we have this really cool motion blur glitch effect. As you guys saw there, it like kind of has this twitch motion to it. So I think it's a really simple effect that you guys can implement into your videos as well. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do it now. So pretty much what they did is they had this solid clip of him and then like two frames, they added motion blur to it. And then another frame, they split it and added motion blur and then it went back to normal and then it moved to the side. So pretty much what I'm gonna do to show you guys how to do this, is I'm gonna take this single frame right here and we're just gonna duplicate it a few times, right? So it's just one single frame. And pretty much what they did is they went, let's say, to the third frame here. They went into effects and they searched up blur and they threw on a directional blur here. They went over to effect controls and then if you play around with the blur length here, we stretch it and then move it to the side like that. You guys could see we have a very similar effect. Just going to turn that down there. You guys can see we get that blur effect. Even if you want to scale it up to be a little bit bigger. And I feel like they did make it last more than a second. And then... We're gonna take two of these. So we have the one here, which is this one. Let's go ahead and turn it down a little bit. And then you can also turn down the opacity as well to make it fit a little bit better if you'd like. And then, so what we're gonna do for this one is we're actually gonna to have to key them out. All right, now that we have them keyed out, we can bring this back to full. And we're gonna put one here and then move him to this side and make him bigger. And with the exact same thing, I'm actually just gonna press Command C, highlight these, press Option Command V. And then we're gonna make sure we have directional blur checked here and we're not gonna paste the motion or opacity. And you, boom, you guys can see we have that directional blur on there. And boom, very similar effect here. We'll just paste these two back. Obviously this is like the same clip being played over and over again, but if you did on an actual video like this and you added some movement to it, like let's say we took this position and scale and we moved it to the side like that. You know what I mean? Move it around, you guys will play around with it and get it to your liking, but that's how you get this effect here. Next, we're moving on to this montage one here, which is honestly super easy to recreate as long as you're pretty good with masking and you film your subject on a black background just like this. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with these clips, for example, here. So pretty much I'm just going to unlink this one and bring it on top of this one here. And then all you have to do, there's a couple options you can do this with. You can change it to screen here, which might mess up the background a little bit. As you can see here, the masking isn't really the greatest. Or if you want to mess around with something like color dodge, linear dodge add, Lighter color, I think lighter color works the best here, yeah. Nice. So we're just gonna resize that. I guess. And boom, you guys can see instantly we have two in one. And then you just do that with multiple clips around him. If we go to this one here, you guys can see it kind of has like this uh, kind of shadow cut out around it. Pretty much what they did is they just masked around it. So if I grab this like mask circle here uh, and we turn down the mask expansion, you guys can see it'll start cutting them off. But if you go ahead and add a mask feather to it, like let's say we do like a feather like that, and then we'll bring this, resize it, and we'll just cut off like the lower part here. We get that same sort of like fade in at the bottom here. And you can increase that by going up here and turning up the mask feather, just like that. All right, now moving on to the next one here, we have a very similar effect as this one here, but pretty much all they did is they put them side by side. Um, this hand overlap thing, I'd recommend doing that instead of After Effects. It looks a little bit wonky here. See how that kind of goes through, but the average viewer doesn't notice that. I just wanted to mention this because we could be filming your subject up close and then kind of like a further away shot. All right, so moving on to this next one here, you're pretty much going to get a static shot of your artist in the middle here. And then you're basically going to be cutting a couple clips in and pasting them just like we were doing before here, every couple of frames. So for example, like put this one here, you guys could see, boom, that fits right in. And you would just have them come in a couple times. So we got one, two, three, right? See, they come in and you could have them like come in and leave at different parts like that every couple of frames. And then the thing that really sells it is there's a constant zoom in, which you can create by going up to project, right clicking, creating a new item, and then creating an adjustment layer. And then if you hit okay on that and drag it in here, extend it to the length of your clip and go over to effects and you're gonna search for something called transform. And you're gonna drag and drop that onto your adjustment layer now. And if you go up into effect controls, you can keyframe the scale at the very beginning, and then go like towards the end and increase it. And you're gonna get that constant zoom in there. This already has it like on the clip, as you guys can see, it's very subtle, but uh, a little bit of a zoom in there. I'd recommend like making it less, like let's try like 115 just for it to be like smooth. And then if you want some motion blur on that, you can uncheck this use composition shutter angle and your shutter angle will be preset to zero. 
and turning up to 360 will add like a ton of motion blur like for example if i go and set this like super high here you guys can see like the motion blur here and here and if you turn it down you'll see you go from no motion blur to having motion blur so that's totally up to you guys of how much you guys want to have on your clip all right so moving on next we have these whip transitions that i actually think are from my fast movement effects pack um they look like identical to it if i go ahead and play this one here too so pretty much to get that whip transition you can either whip your camera in person and they also have some sound design on it as well but using my fast movement effects which i'm pretty sure they used in this all you have to do is just drag and drop an adjustment layer in here in between your two clips you want to make sure it's around six frames just like that if your isn't six frames just resize it to six frames we're then going to go inside of effects and we're going to open up presets here Let's open up the fast movement effects bundle. And if you go into the V3 and open up wipe transitions, you guys will see there are a bunch of different wipes in here. So let's play hard wipe. You guys can see we get the exact same thing. So if we put this like here, looking great. And what they did as well is they added sound design. It adds a lot more of an effect to it. So if we go up into our project here, I'm just gonna open up my whooshes and risers sound design pack. They use whooshes inside of here. So I'm gonna go inside of medium. And if we go with 23 here, you guys can see we have a lot of whooshes to play with. I'm gonna put this one in here and you wanna line it up right in between your clip. So if we play it, without it, and then with it, adds a lot of an effect to it. Put this one here as well. Looking great, guys. So next, we're going to move on to this effect here. You guys could see it's just motion blur and going up. Now, there's a couple of ways that you guys can create this. Pretty much all that's happening is they're bringing in an adjustment layer here and they're putting transform on it like we were doing earlier, but they're just having it with a motion blur and making it go up instead of zooming in with some clicking sound design, which you guys can download from YouTube. If you guys want to check out fast mode effects, it'll be linked below. You guys can use code 15 off to save yourself 15% off, but let's move on to this one now. And then finally, we're going to be moving on to this night vision effect here. It has the same cutout effect that we were doing before. And then to get the night vision effect, there's a couple ways you could do it. You also have another white preset here. Exact same thing as we just did here with the wipes. Let's go ahead and take one of these clips here. What one can we take? Let's just take this one, for example. So pretty much to achieve something like this, you go into effects. I have a pack called the night vision presets, which has 10 different night vision looks. All you guys have to do is drag and drop them on your clips, just like this. And you guys can see you get a bunch of different unique night vision looks. Super simple. You don't have to do any work or dial any of the presets in. That'll be linked below as well if you guys want to check that out. But if you don't want to go ahead and grab that, all you have to do is apply a tint to it. Go over to effect controls and map the white to whatever color you're feeling. So like, let's say we want to go for a green, obviously. And boom, we get like that sort of tint effect there. I'm just going to steal the screen. You can see it's not really as accurate. There we go. Looks pretty good. And if we go into Lumetri Color here, let's turn down the contrast. Boost the highlights. Lower the shadows. And then let's go ahead and add some noise to it. Go ahead and turn that up. Looking great. And if we want that kind of like circular cutout thing, just like before, all you're going to have to do is open up Opacity, click the circle. We're going to expand it a little bit and then just adding some feather you can kind of get that cut out effect there i know it's not as accurate as an actual vhs camera but it looks pretty damn good and then last but not least we have this montage effect so what i recommend doing for this is just a couple ways you could do it if you have photoshop and you want to copy this exact layout you can just take a screenshot using this camera here open it inside of photoshop and then kind of add your pictures in but pretty much the easiest way to do it inside of here is just go into all your footage here and you're gonna drag and drop your footage in. And then to move it around, all you pretty much have to do, go inside of effects. We're gonna type in crop. We're gonna highlight all the clips you wanna move around and crop. Drag and drop crop on them. We're gonna turn them off, except the top one here. And let's go inside of effect controls. To figure out where you wanna place it, just go ahead and turn the opacity on. And then you could play with the scale. And let's say we wanna place this one like up here, right? And we want it like that, for example. All you have to do next is go inside your crop and then we're going to move to the left, the bottom, the right, and then the top. And if we go ahead now and turn the opacity back up, you guys can see it perfectly fits inside of the square there. And you just do that with all the other ones if you want to. Or if you want to create your own border, you can do that inside of Photoshop as well. Anyways, that was the breakdown of the Autumn How You Mad music video. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like and comment what other tutorials you guys want me to make below. All my editing packs and presets will be on my website if you guys want to check them out. You guys can use code 15OFF to save yourself 15% off any of them. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.